Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. I think I'm gonna fix your attitude. No, you got the wrong guy, man. Get on board! Right along? Sure. Let's go. Boot up the scanner thing. It can pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Sounds good. We're gonna go see my pal. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter, right? Hmm, not exactly. An actor? Kinda smells like you're researching a role. Hey, buddy, look, I got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor or a writer or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal and your boss has kinda sold you to me. Sold me? I'm afraid so. Like chattel. Huh? Now we got that clear, you need to know we're looking for a high-value automobile. Once we find it, my guy in the ground will jack it, and we're gravy. So, um, uh, and then? And then what's happening? And then? Ah, spoiler alert, kid. We killed a witness. Right, right. There he is, over by the oil derricks. Let's see if we can scan him. Public exposure? What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do we looking for is down that way. I'll follow in the car. Howard, you heard the man. Wherever you want to go. You arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me! Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 you're nice to got a minority quota. I should take... Oh, please! We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Huh? Not Mulligan. True guys on a rooftop going at it. The lady downstairs in the bikini. Let's see if we can connect the dots. We ain't found them yet. Come in, Franklin. Suspect's not in the area. I repeat. Suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of there. Roger that. Would you look at that couple? Finally, some normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town. We gotta keep looking. Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We're looking for his lockup, dog, all right? Stay on and look out. Roger that.
We have lost sight of the suspect. Might have to send Pilot Boy down to draw him out. Hold on, wait. He should come out from behind that building. Suspect's on foot. Okay, I see the job. I ain't far away. Walking appears to be accessing a small garage. All right, all right, this is it. I'm gonna get the call. Hey, motherfucker! Oh shit! Shit! Oh fuck! What happened? Hey, look, just stay on him, man, and let me know where he is. Suspect sighted going south on Dutch Drive. Suspect going west down alley toward El Rancho. You see him? Car going north on El Rancho. Woo, woo, woo. All units be advised, we have a possible joyrider heading west on Howick in a black C-type. Hey man, you get another cop on this shit? Nah, homie. I'd appreciate the authenticity. Oh, okay. Well, I fucking don't. Copy Unit 3, we have reports of dangerous driving in your sector. Uh, well, this is Copper Unit 3. Reports are greatly exaggerated. Over. Your boy Chad very nearly totaled the score. Oh, Chad, that was close. Okay, I see the motherfucker, man. I got this. Fuck this shit, man. Hey, you my eyes, right? Suspect Max and Del Perro heading west. Get a move on, Franklin. He's getting away from you. Hey, where is he, man? Reckless driver sighted crossing Dorset Drive. Suspect sighted near the Life Invader offices. He's turned into an alley off Del Perro. Hey, where this fucking asshole at? Lost sight of suspect near a parking garage. Request ground units to investigate. Hey, buddy, lower our altitude so I can see in. Slow and steady. This camera's giving me a little air sickness. I get violent when I'm queasy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll keep her steady. All garage exits clear. Suspect is in the building. I can't see him. Need some help here, flyboy. Where is he? Uh, you can toggle to thermal vision if you think that would help. Oh! Well, you might have just earned yourself a reprieve. You know, I think I'm developing feelings for you. Okay. I'm seeing things a little more clearly. Hey, you can still see me, right? I'm in the middle of the garage. I've got you. Hey, take a look around. Is there another heat source? We got a guy. Standing over by a row of cars. Middle of the floor. Well, let's see what the fuck he's doing. Hey, that ain't... Damn. You're the reason these places stink. Stank-ass motherfucker. Man in his car to my right. Who looks like he's on the phone? Fuck, dude could be calling the feds, homie. Hey, it's not him, dog. I hope this motherfucker in here. Del Perro, side of the lot. There's a man by a car. I'll check him out. Hey, this ain't the ride we have. This dude working on the buck. Near side of the garage, on my left. 
There's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worth something. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Really? Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settle down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dawg, but... She needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. Hard driving with you up there watching me, dawg. I get self-conscious and shit.
Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! Jackson Skinner, he's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie, I'll be in touch.
Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. yourself a large vanilla latte, drive at high speed, really over-caffeinated, and then pull over and do something really empowering, like eat an exercise bar, or have a sports drink, even though you're not actually exercising or playing a sport. Sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. 
I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Hey, get in, we're running late. Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Oh my god! Just this with shit, you know how it is.
green light. Good to go. For 10 seconds, it's free game, bud. You piece of shit. Fool. together. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. 
He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss.
how you like this space. It's going to be an EDM paradise. There's going to be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. to go. What are you doing here? You're gonna have to meet my boss. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. We are not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. Whoa! Oh! Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong trucks? I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well. Hey! We'll drop! We'll drop! Enough! Uh, enough! Alright, I'll do the shitty movie! <laughs> For the shitty money! I'll do anything you want! I'll blow you! And just stop! Finally! You come to your senses! I'll take you to the studio! Hey, Milk! What? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. 
Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I appreciate... I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. <laughs> 